Well, here's where I am today, trying to fish this, and it's uh, Fishcombe Cove, down by Brixham, and it's not going too well. I haven't caught anything yet, and I, I don't even think I've had a nibble on these. Something's taken the bait, but that might be just crab, so I'm not too worried about that. But it's a beautiful place to fish. There's a cormorant over there, so he's obviously found something to eat, and he's dived again. Yeah, really, really nice. Only slight little problem is it's very, very, very rocky. So uh, I've got to reel in very, very quickly. Um, but that, that's about it, really. Bit of a steep climb up, but I think quite lots of character. With a little archway over there that you can walk up to the footpath. And another little way down there. Yeah, nice. A couple of cormorants out there diving, so there must be must be sand eels and things like that out there. Well, this seems to be the first sign of any activity. This rod here, closest one to me, which is only my little spinny rod, but I put it out. You can see how something's nibbling at the bait there. It's only small, might even be crab. But at least it's doing something. Something's out there. Hmm. Waiting for something to take that. Did it? Sand eel on there. So I figured if it's good enough for the cormorants, certainly good enough for me. Well, I've chopped up four, four bits of mackerel and I've put a spark plug on this time. And I'm going to put mackerel, 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 mackerel and um, baited feathers again. And it's just started raining. <laughs> I don't mind. Right, well, certainly looking better now. Um, I thought I was going to get a double shot because, or fish on both rigs because both of these rigs started doing something just now. Fish are definitely interested in my little spinny rod, which is the one with the fluorescent bit up the top. The other rod, when it gets a little bit darker, I mean, it's pretty dark now, but I'm gonna put a light on that with bells on it, nice red light, stay here for another hour. So I'm starting to catch fish. Brilliant, I mean, when you start catching, you don't wanna leave. Um, Unless you catch hundreds of mackerel, then you think, oh, it's time to call it a day. But either way, things are looking better. Now I've got a recovery bucket this time as well, which um, here is the um, Swafiga, Swafiga bucket, which um, is a recovery bucket. So before I put the fish back, when I catch them, I'm gonna put them back into that recovery bucket give them a few seconds or so or a couple of minutes or so just to look like they're happy again and relaxed and then I'll put them back to the water. Definitely, definitely, definitely want to be kinder to these fish. I'm pouting or I'm waiting. There they are, both happy, both alive, both swimming around. Yes, so that's good news. Yeah, I'm going to put them back now.
and there he is. This time it's a dogfish. I'm not going to keep him out of the water very long. I'm going to take him back now and put him back. Right, so let's see whether we can get this one on film going back. Back to kill this dogfish. There you go. Brilliant. Yep, there you go. That's uh, three fish caught and every single one of them. Yeah, three fish caught and every single one of them's gone back. Looking at that is a personal best. It's a big one. Right, I'm going to take it down to the water. Put it in the water gently. Go on in. Yeah, there he goes. Brilliant. Right. My New Year's resolution, kinder to all fish. Oh look, we've got something going on here now. Oh right. Oh right. Yeah, let's reel that one in. Wow, it's three species. Dogfish, pout, and a monster waiting. Well, monster for me. I think that is my personal best. 15 inches long, that um, waiting and chunky with it so pretty good see whether i get any more oh, something we've got something going on here let's oh let's wind us in and see what we've got Oh, right, well, if I have got something, it ain't particularly big. I lost it, I think, just in that winding it in. Something else. Oh, this feels heavy. Oh. oh no. Well, here's where you see me um, oh, getting my weight stuck in in the uh, rocks or pebbles or something under the on the seabed. Anyway, yeah. Now there's several techniques I use to get everything free. I know that I've got a fish on that line. So I'm trying my best to free it off, but because I was on the pier, it isn't easy to move apart from backwards. So the technique I'm using here will be one, to hold the line with my hands and pull the line and walk backwards. Two, trying to stretch the line, to bounce the line up and down so as that if there was a weight there that's stuck under a rock if you bounce it sometimes it will work its way free and the last last one that I'm using out of sheer desperation is can the fish get me out of this <laughs> and sometimes the fish can what the fish do is obviously they are trying to break free but the line will actually rub on the rock that it's trapped underneath and then it weakens the line and quite often as not the fish will weaken the line and then the line will break you do lose your weight and look on a rocky ground like this sometimes I'll use nuts or I'll use spark plugs well, what is, what's really annoying here is the fish are going for that uh, the hooks yeah, the fish are going for the hooks, but the weight is actually stuck in a rock. Yeah, so I'm going to have to lose that weight. Unless the fr fish can actually free that weight off. Could do, so we'll see. So here I... Um, <clears throat> carried on fishing. It's best to just 
leave that line in the water. Um, it's got two chances. It's either going to break free or you're going to lose all your rig and, and cut, have to cut the line. So um, I just left it in the water, let that little fish do the work for me. And uh, here you see me reeling it in. <laughs> and hey presto, I've actually, well, yeah, the fish has done, freed the, well, it's broken the line. And it's freed itself really from that. So I know it's coming out of the water, but it will go back to the water. Here's me checking, checking no weight. And there's a little pouting. So fair play to that little pouting. Right, well, I got a little pouting. Brilliant. That's good news about the little pouting. But that little pouting, uh, there, Ooh, what can I show it to you? This little pouting freed up the hook. Lost the weight for me. Maybe chewed through the weight, seeing as it, that was what was the problem. But he actually managed to free himself. And uh, I've got to put another weight on it. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah well, that's not the end of the world. Right, I'll do that now. Right, well I'm getting some nice size, nice size whiting here. Um, this particular one swallowed the hook quite a long way. So I've got some pliers here, so I'm just about to take this hook out. There we go. I got it out, no trouble at all. That was good, I'm gonna put him back in the recovery bucket. Go on immediately. Oh, happy days, that was a bit of a struggle. Have a look how the other line's doing. We believe it is a rockling, and I think it is a rockling, but beautiful, beautiful colouring and uh, markings on him. A few little marks here which you may have got tangled up or got involved in a fight with something else. Going back to the sea now. Yeah, good. Right. Well, I've just pulled in this mackerel head to pack away and it is riddled with sea lice, which I've never seen before. But the gentleman beside me has said at least I've caught them. <laughs> which, you know, I've never caught sea lice before. But they're not very pleasant things, so I'm not going to touch them. Right, that's these little things here. And they're all running back to the sea. They're all making their way back. Look at him going back to the sea. How fast they move. Right. So what have we here come to see me? I'm glad you're not a seagull. I don't get on too well with seagulls. Look at you drying out your wings. You're going to go swimming again in a minute? Wasn't you trying to attack my bait the other day, was it? Hmm, could have been, couldn't it? Right, well, I still want some water. Are you going to move? Was it you pinching my fish just now? Did you pinch? You might have pinched my fish. You might still do it if, uh, you might get one of your mates to do it. All right, I'll come back in a minute. Well, let you, let you have a bit of time to yourself. Right, let's see whether you're here when I come back, yeah? All right, my darling. Make yourself look pretty before you go in the sea again. Uh -huh. 